So if you're looking for a way to collaborate with friends and colleagues on text documents, spreadsheets, or slideshows, or you just want a way to upload files and share them without having to spend a penny, then Google Drive is what you're looking for. In this video, I'm going to break down the sharing and permission settings. I'm going to show you how to share individual files as well as groups of files within a folder. First off, I want to say to you, thanks for the click. If you're looking for tutorials on Google Drive, Docs, Sheets, and Slides, then you're in the right place. My goal with this channel is to take technical concepts and break them down into small actionable steps for you to work smarter. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get notified of future video uploads. I want to explain the fundamentals of sharing and permissions in Google Drive. So in order to do that, I've actually brought Lady Liberty with me along with my handy dandy back scratcher. Right. So let's say we've got our Google Drive here and in Google Drive we've got a folder and in that folder there are two files. So if we give Lady Liberty access to the folder, she automatically gets access to the two files. If you want to restrict access to just one file, you would set permissions at the file level. So in this instance, she's got access to this file but does not have access to the second file. Make sense? There are a few different levels of permissions in Google Drive. If you want somebody to be able to open a document and look at it without making any changes, give them view permissions. If you want somebody to be able to add or delete or update the formatting, you would give them edit permissions. For documents, if you want somebody to be able to open up a document and uh, create markup for changes that the document owner can then uh, move forward with, you would give them comment settings, comment permissions, right? There are also a couple different ways that you can share documents in Google Drive and it makes it super simple. So you can share a link with somebody in Google Drive. So you would actually create this link in Google Drive, copy it, and then paste it in your favorite messaging app, a text app, or even in an email. You can also insert the person's email directly into Google Drive, and Google Drive will send out the email to that person, giving them an access link. They would click it, and then they'd get access to that file. Just remember to keep in mind that Giving permissions at the folder level gives someone access to everything within that folder, and giving them access at the file level gives them access to just that one file. So what does that actually look like? Let's take a peek. For this demonstration, I've actually logged into two separate Google Drive accounts. This first window here is logged into my main Google Drive account, and the secondary window in the back is logged into a secondary Google Drive account. This way, I can show you how changes I make in my primary account affect the account of the user I'm actually sharing files and folders with. I've actually already got a folder set up, how to share and edit documents. I'm going to double click that. And inside, I've got two documents. One is a picture of me and my sister on our trip to Poland earlier this year. And the other is a Google Doc. Let's say that I want to give the secondary user access to both files in this folder. I'm going to right click the folder, click the share button. And what comes up is the share with others dialog screen. Now, if you remember from earlier, there are two ways to share files in Google Drive. The first is by sharing a link, which you can activate by clicking this Get Shareable Link button up top here. Or you can enter email addresses in this dialog box. And that's what I'm going to show you first. I'm going to enter the email of the secondary account. And by default, Google Drive grants the user edit access. If you click down, you can see that there are two options for folders. There's Organize, Add, and Edit, and there's View Only. We're going to click the view only option first. You can add an additional note. And you'll see that the notify people dialog box is already checked. What this does is send an email to the secondary user, letting them know that they have access to the folder. We're going to click send. We're going to go to the inbox of my secondary account. And we see that I got a new email stating that I have access to this folder. I can click open here or go back to my drive, hit the refresh button click the shared with me option, and we see that I now have that folder in my shared with me folder. Now remember, I've only granted this user view access. So if I try to click this Google Doc and it opens up, we see at the top that I have view only access. I can click this drop down and click the request edit access button, which will then send an email to the document owner requesting edit access. If I try to type anything here, we see that it's not possible. So let's say that as a document owner, I want to grant this user access to this document. What I have to do is I have to go into the folder, right click the document, click share, click advanced, and we see under the who has access section of this pop-up, the secondary user only has view access. If I click this drop down, I can change their access to they're the owner of the document, they can edit the document, or they can comment on the document. 
I'm going to click Edit the Document, click Save, and then click Done. I'm going to go back over to the document on my secondary account. I'm going to refresh the page. And we see that my access has now been edited to Edit Access. Perfect. Optionally, what I could have done on my main account is on the folder level, I could have right-clicked the folder, clicked Share, Advanced, and changed their level to everything in that folder from View Mode to Edit Mode. That would have also done the same thing and given the user edit access to the document. Now, there are a few things you should keep in mind once you've granted somebody access to a document. As the secondary user, if I wanted to give one of my friends access to this document, what do I do is go back to my Google Drive, right-click the file, click Share, and I could enter somebody's email address right in this dialog box here, click Done, and then the person that I wanted to share this document with would get an email giving them access to the document. You should also note that this information is shared with the document owner. Now, let's say as the document owner, I don't want people to be able to invite whoever they want to view or edit my documents. So, I can actually restrict that access. I'm going to open up the folder in my main Google Drive account, right-click the doc, click Share, Advanced, and down at the bottom here under Owner Settings, we see this button for Prevent Editors from Changing Access and Adding New People. I'm going to click that, click Save, Done, then go back to my secondary account, and let's see if I'm able to add any users to this document. And it worked. I'm not able to add any more additional users directly to this document. However, if I did want to invite additional users, I would enter their email addresses, click Send Request, and let the document owner decide if that person should be granted access. Let's click Cancel. Now, let's say I wanted to restrict access to this picture I have in this folder. I didn't want to remove the picture, but I only wanted certain people to have access to it. How do I do that? Well, if I come back to my main account, and I right-click the picture, and I click the Share button, then under Advanced, I can remove whoever I don't want to have access by clicking this X button over here on the right. Click Save Changes. Then, if I'm in my secondary account, I'll actually refresh the page. Now we see that the photo is no longer shared with the secondary user, but still belongs in the main account. Let's go over a second way to share files in Google Drive using the Share Link method. So let's say that I actually want the secondary user to have access to that photo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click the photo in the main account, click Share, and remember this Get Shareable Link button I mentioned earlier? We're going to click that. The default permissions when we turn this on is here. Anyone with the link can view the document. If I wanted to change that, I would click this drop-down and I can choose Can Edit, Can Comment, or I can turn Link Access off. We're going to keep this as Can View. And if I click Copy Link, and come over to my secondary account window, open up a new tab, paste the link, we see that I can now access this file. The secondary user will also notice that back in their Google Drive, the file now appears in the shared folder. So now that you've got the basics of sharing down, I want to go over a few more advanced settings. So back in my main account, I'm going to right click on the Google Doc, click Share, then click the Advanced button. Under the Who Has Access section, you can see Specific People Can Access and a button for Change over on the right-hand side. Click that button. And this is where you can set the options for link sharing. Currently, link sharing is off. I have two options to turn link sharing on. The first option is Public on the Web. This means anybody anywhere on the Internet can find and access the document. It's also possible for people to search for and find this document, even if I have no idea who these people are. I generally never use this option. I usually use the second option, anyone with the link. This means anyone with the link can access the document, but the documents are not available online to the general public. I'm going to click this option here, and again, I can update the level of permission given to anybody who accesses the document using the link. The default is Can View, but I can update that to Edit or Comment. We'll keep it as Can View for now. We'll click Save. And then this link to share at the top, I can actually copy that link and send it to anybody through a messenger app, through text message, or even directly through email. I want to show you one last option when it comes to sharing documents with comment permissions only. I'm going to give the secondary account here comment permissions. 
And under the owner settings section of this dialog, we see there's an option to disable options to download, print, and copy for commenters and viewers. I'm gonna click that button, click Save Changes, click Done. Then I'm gonna go back to my secondary account and I'm gonna open this document. I should have comment access only. This is where I can only suggest changes that the document owner can then accept or reject. So you see I can type here, but my text is underlined and highlighted here. This is so that the document owner can easily view the comment that I've left and can either accept or reject what I've left. If I go back to my main account and open up that same file, I see the suggestion and then on the right hand side, I can either accept or reject what was given by the secondary user. I'm gonna reject this one. I'm gonna go back to my secondary account and show you why we checked that disable download option in the dialog box. If I go up to file here, we see that I cannot download, make a copy, or print this document since that has been restricted by the document owner. Now, let's say I made a useful change to this document and submitted it to the document owner. So as the document owner, I see the change the secondary user has left. On the right-hand side, I choose to accept this change, and that change then becomes a part of this document. And that's pretty much all there is to it. One last note, if there are multiple people viewing the document at the same time, you have the option to chat with anybody who's viewing that document. On the upper right corner, I see this chat bubble here, and I can click that, type in a chat, and that shows up to anybody and everybody who's viewing the document at that time. So those are the basics of sharing files and granting access in Google Drive. Pretty simple, right? Remember, if you want somebody to have access to multiple files, then give them access to a folder that has the files in them. If you want to restrict access to just individual files, then grant access at the file level. Granting access at the file level gives you a little bit more control over who has access to what. I hope that makes sense to you. If it doesn't or if you have questions, leave a comment below. I would love to hear your feedback. If you haven't checked out the other videos on this channel yet, I would recommend starting with my intro to Google Drive video. I'll put a link down in the description. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you check out the other videos on this channel. Thanks again for watching. My name is Steve and until next time, you stay creative.